I have a question for you Mercedes enthusiasts. How many of these old SL top mechanisms ever get lubricated? <laughs> you know, I think it's something that never happens. I mean, you're talking about the W113 and the R107 primarily, the manual roofs. That's the only thing we're going to address here. But if you've lived with one of these for a long time, you probably don't notice the gradual stiffness in opening and closing the top. Of course, you don't do it that often. Some of you may even avoid putting the top down because <laughs> of how hard it is to get it down in the boot. So a while back, I set out to develop a lubricant that would work on hinges. I mean, really work, not something you'd spray on. <laughs> like WD-40 or lithium grease, and it had to have these qualities. It had to have the ability to wick, but it had to be thick enough that it would hold and hold for a long time. And then it had to have the ability not to track a lot of dust and dirt. And of course, it had to have the ability not to drip all over the place. You don't want to be lubricating these hinge points in here and having them drip on your head <laughs> or into your car. And I knew it had to be a synthetic, but there wasn't anything on the market. Most of the lubricants were too thin, they were too thick, and so I set out to develop what I call now is my Miracle Lube, right here. And this is a combination. This is, I don't make this, by the way. It's, a, it's what I mix. It's a combination of two very high-performance synthetic lubricants, and it is super slippery. You can't believe how well it holds and how well it wicks, considering how thick it is. So what I want to do today is lubricate this SL top. <laughs> Maybe after you hear this, you'll realize why these get stiff after a while. There's 24 hinge points on this top mechanism. That's 12 aside, and you'll have to pay attention when you're doing it. And that's why I put this spout, very small spout on the end of this because I literally am only going to put two or three drips on every hinge point. And then I'll work the top and then after a day or so I'll come back and wipe any excess that I find. I hope at the end of this video you can tell the difference. Sometimes it's hard to see. You see where it's holding here, it's holding there. Maybe it'll drop easier once everything is lubricated up. There it starts down, but it stops. Okay, that's a reference point. You may not be able to see it that way, but I might be able to feel it. So let's get started. I'll do one side and then do the other side. And I use a certain sequence when I do this. And as I explain in my instructions on my website, when you attach this spout, be sure and remove the cap and shove the Tigon hose down over these little threads. You do not want this coming off while lubricating your top. I start with this upper section first. There are six hinge points here. Notice I set a shop towel in here in case I get any drips that drop down. And the nice thing about this spout is you can get back in here. I think I'll do this one first. Uh, you can put a little on the head there and then come in behind and let it drip down. Same thing here, just a couple drops on the head and then a couple drops in behind here on the washer. Same thing up here. Reach in behind. And there's a nylon bushing here this one isn't critical, but I'm just going to put a couple drops right there. And then I'll come up to this point. I'll put a couple little drops on the head. Come in behind right at the top where that washer is. And let that drop in. And then right here is a tight hinge point. And I'm just going to put this right in the middle two drops. Okay, now I'm just going to work it a little bit.
This will help work it into the joints. Okay. Now I've got to tackle what's down in the hole here. It's going to be a little bit harder for you to see every detail. It's really difficult to angle the camera, but I think you can see it. Notice the blue cloth. Isn't that nice? No drips. What does that tell you? Okay, I'm not going to worry about a cloth here. I'm going to start with this big hinge point right here on this arm. Um, if it's really filthy and dirty down in there, you might want to clean that with some mineral spirits or solvent before lubricating it. But I'm going to put probably five drops on this one. Now, I don't care if a little excess drips down in here. I can wipe it up later, but I want to make sure I lubricate these points. So there's, here's another one right here. Notice how I just get a little drop on there, and then I'll come down and lubricate this down here on both sides. And then there's two down deep here. They both have heads, and I get on the head and on the back side. And way, way down in here is one. You might have, you know, I probably need a flashlight to see. You can also aim and drip from up high. And then I have one right here. And then one right back here. So there might be an extra one in here. It's, it's not really a hinge, it's more of a slider. All right, I've got that covered. Now I'll go over and do the other side and then we'll come back Kind of work this a little bit and see if we can actually witness an improvement. When you're working on these lower hinge points you can also push the bottom of the top forward like this and you can get a real good view particularly if you use a flashlight and come in and get some of these that are towards the back. See I'm just putting a very very small amount and over here look at that oh this is why I don't like lithium grease it's all gooped up in there it's not really lubricating anything it's gotten all hard and it's just collecting dirt and so while I'm at it I'm going to clean this latch up I've been cleaning the other latch up and then I'm going to clean the mechanism of their back at, at the release for the back of the top and we're going to lubricate those three points as well. I have both sides lubricated. Now I'm going to just work this top mechanism back and forth a little bit like this, see? Kind of massage those joints. And then what I'll do is I'll take my paper towel, particularly on the top ones, I'm just going to come in and wipe off any excess. And look, got maybe two little teeny drips. You see how well that lubricant wicks and holes? And now <laughs> for the final test, what do you think? Let's put it down here and see what happens. Oh, isn't that nice? Bang. Once you've done this and you go to put the top of them down, you are really going to feel a difference. So if you'd like to get that lubricant, I, it is for sale on my website. I'll just put a link in the description below this video. You can also use this lubricant on any type of hinge, door hinges, hood hinges, ball socket joints on linkages. It's absolutely amazing.